Okay, so this is um, the IV bridge, a little like two two years old laptop, my daughter laptop, and I want to dual boot this one with Windows 10 and El Capitan. So if you have a laptop like this, you just update it to Windows 10 or Windows 8.1. The first thing you want to do is to find out the device ID if you want to install Mac OS to make sure that they are compatible all the devices in there you go to Fry's, you go to Best Buy before you buy your computer you go to Costco, whatever you go to the laptop you right click My, my PC and you go to Property and then you go to Device Manager the first thing you want to do is to find out what display adapter it is. So this is HD Graphic 4000 which is El Capitan supported. And you go to the Bluetooth but it's generic so you can't tell from there. So you go to Mice and other pointing device. Synaptics that is supported. And you go to network adapter that's important so the network adapter on this laptop normally it should be Intel or something I already replaced my daughter's laptop with the Broadcom uh, 43225 with the Bluetooth also or you can buy AW CE123H or Broadcom BCM 94352 HMB combo. Those are good. That's a dual band. You go to the Broadcom, whatever, the network adapter. You click property, right click, or detail, and then you go to device, hardware device ID. The vendor is 14E4, which is Broadcom device is 4357 so that one is supported the ethernet controller so the important thing is that the ethernet controller have to be supported go to hardware IDs and this one is Realtek which is 10 EC and device ID is 8168 so what it is that all 81 series will be supported so if you get the uh, ethernet working first and then you can change the Wi-Fi module but make sure that your laptop doesn't have whitelist on the Wi-Fi so stay away from Lenovo so the next one you want to do is important one is sound high definition audio device property detail hardware ID so this one is 111D, the vendor, and the device ID is 76E0. So this one is patchable in Apple HDA, so you can get HDMI and everything on it. So those things are the most important one. They are Ethernet, graphics, audio, that's very important. So those things need to be native. The Wi-Fi is, is guaranteed that it won't match with any which you have to replace if you want to have native one so the next one is what I want to do to prepare so I'll go to read write everything download a portable show in folder extract so the first thing you want to do with all the laptop is to get 7 zip so I want the 64 bit so the next one you want is called notepad plus plus Run the administrator to make sure you have no problem now you go to the ACPI oh, by the way if you want to get your product ID MSDM 
and then you will see a data down here to click the tab DSDT and then you click the bin save as binary now you're gonna save this one as all file and then we're gonna create a folder whatever it is so let's put it on the desktop all right easy to see new folder and the SDT dot AML to get all the SSDT okay so this one half so we'll start from the left the far left SSDT SSDT save as bin okay all file again dash one dot AML start to, to move to the right save it again so make sure you don't miss any dash two dot AML is the third one okay click bin again binary dash three dot AML fourth one dash four dot AML alright that's it no more one DSDT and four SSDT we extracted alright so that's it so now we have NVACPI with five things in it ready for El Capitan